this is what they look like i'm going ahead and crocheting the ends through the back just like i did the rest of the braids and it's no rhyme or reason my hair is just kind of thick so i'm trying to make sure to keep it as flat as possible so i do my best to kind of fill it out but if you have someone to help you that would be great All right, so this is the finished braiding pattern. This is what we're working with. I'm gonna go ahead and take out the twist on my edges and just flat iron that hair because it'll be a little bit easier now than later. And now it's time to pop the wig on. I'm placing the combs around my part first, and then I go ahead and place the combs behind my edges and in the back so that everything is nice and secure. You cannot tell me this does not look like a bomb sew-in. It's giving a fire, super flat sew-in, and the hair is so pretty. I love the waves. We're gonna kind of play up the natural waves and how we style the hair, but for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and flat iron my leave out first. Before we get into styling the hair, I'm going to apply a little bit more heat protectant. I'm using the John Frieda Frizzies and just applying that all throughout the hair. And then I also put a little bit of a wax stick on my roots because the flyaways were not given. To style the hair, I'm using my curling wand. This is one that I got off Amazon. It actually came with a few different attachments. So it came with a few different wands in different sizes and it came with the crimping barrel. I love this curling iron. I'll go ahead and put the link down below if you guys are interested in it. I've really been trying to downsize like all of my beauty and hair products. So having a product that I can use in a lot of different ways has been super helpful. And it's a low-key cute so yeah i'll link that down below if you guys want to go ahead and check it out i got it on amazon but i'm going through and i'm just wand curling the hair going all towards the back i wanted to give beachy mermaid vibes and then i'm using my little small flat irons to go ahead and curl any smaller pieces that i couldn't get with the wand without burning myself because that's always the goal And per usual, the last step is baby hairs. I'm going ahead and using a little bit of edge control and swooping my baby hairs on the side and just polishing up the edges in general. I've been obsessed with swooping my sideburns lately. I'm not gonna lie, it looks so cute, especially when you, you know, do the little, like I said, the little I'm shy tuck, chef's kiss. So after combing the curls out, this is the final look. I hope that you guys really enjoyed today's video. I'm running a little bit more of that edge control over my hair just to make sure everything stays nice and blended. And I hope that you guys like how it turned out. Do you see how flat it is? If anybody asks, it's a sew-in. The hair is gorgeous. I love the length and it blends perfectly. 